I'm Bert Drake. I'm a plant physiologist at the Smithsonian Environmental Research Center in Edgewater, Maryland. We're standing on a marsh that I've been studying for more than 25 years. What you see out here are chambers, a whole bunch of them, and we are using these to expose certain parts of the ecosystem to CO2 levels that we would see in the future. We want to know, will these plants take up more of the carbon dioxide that we humans are putting up there in the atmosphere when we drive our cars and we burn coal to make electricity. I really began my studies here in the 70s and um, a lot of work had been done on plants in the laboratory and in greenhouses. But in order to answer a question about a system as complex as an ecosystem, you have to go there and study it directly. But well, here we have an opportunity to study an ecosystem with all the processes there of carbon being taken up, water being lost, nitrogen being produced and consumed, methane being produced, insects coming and going. We wanted to study all of that out here in the field and so that's why we generated a field study that you see here in front of you. We have these chambers that are um, sitting out here and we have the little blowers you can hear in the background that are pumping air into the chamber and then we're adding CO2 uh, a little bit to raise the CO2 concentration inside. And how do we know what the CO2 concentration is in there? Because we're sampling it. There's tubes inside the chamber and there are pumps drawing air back into the laboratory where we're analyzing these gases to find out how much water vapor is in the air, how much CO2 is in the air. And then sometimes we actually measure the rate at which the plants can take up CO2 and give off water vapor. What has impressed me most about this whole study is um, the complexity of this problem. 20 years ago or so, the question was, would these plants take up carbon dioxide uh, as predicted when the CO2 is increased in the atmosphere? The answer is yes, the CO2 effect is there and it can be quite large, but only if everything else is supplied that the plants need. What that means for the future is that um, drought is predicted and in fact occurring and with such conditions, we don't expect the CO2 effect to be very large. Uh, and I think we're a long way from understanding fully the processes that occur in ecosystems so that we could make accurate predictions into the future about what will happen to the land as the CO2 and climate change impact it.